Hi everybody, it's Greg Page here from 2 by 2 and we are proud to share with you our very first live show that we ever did. Yes, what you're about to see is the very first live show that Luke and Gemma performed around about three years ago. Now the live show has come a long way since Luke and Gemma first performed it. I mean, we've got this big blow up set now, it's quite incredible what we've done. But you've got to bear in mind, this was before we were on TV, this was before we were on YouTube, we've come a long, long way since 2015. But the show is brilliant. The children that came along to the show had an absolute ball. You'll see that as you watch it. Well, we hope you have an absolute ball too, everybody. Enjoy our very first live show that we ever did. Have a great time, everybody. Hi, everyone. How about we get some clapping going? Let's see your claps. Very nice. Let's speak to one another with spiritual songs Sing and make music all day long For God it's time we start to feel it in our hearts So let's sing, sing, sing Let's sing together these Bible stories That teach us all about God's glory Give you thanks to everything We song the sound of hymns Let's sing, sing, sing We'll sing it two by two Uh, hi everyone, I'm Luke. And I'm Gemma. Thank you for coming today. Now, do you like to have fun? Do you like to have fun? <laughs> oh, that's good. Because I love to have fun. One way I like to have fun is by going on great adventures and meeting amazing new people. I love to travel. Do you know how I love to have fun? I love to have fun by reading a great book. Reading? Well, that's not very fun, is it? I mean, I, I mean, you can't go anywhere when you read a book. Uh, you, you can't meet new people and find out about who they are and what they do. Well, of course you can. Reading is the best way you can go on great adventures and meet incredible people who have done amazing things. Really? But when you're reading, you're not actually going anywhere. You're just sitting reading, right? Let me try and explain. Hmm. One of my favourite books to read is the Bible. It is full of amazing what? stories, incredible adventures and wonderful people. Wow. That sounds fascinating. Hey, well, could, could we go on some adventures right now? Could we hear some stories from the Bible? Of course we can. OK, let's begin with the story of creation. How the world was created with so many things for us to enjoy and appreciate. Yeah. It is incredible to look around and, and see all of the wonderful things that were, were created for us to look at and use every day. Yeah, I mean, trees, animals, flowers, chocolate, music, mm -hmm. chocolate, technology, chocolate, and... Uh, what about fruit and vegetables? Dipped in chocolate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a listen to what the Bible tells us about how the world was created. Have you ever wondered how it all began? What came before earth? What came before man? This is a tale of God's mighty glory. This is creation story. Very nice. On the first day God created light. 
called it day and called darkness night. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the Thursday. On the second day, God created the sky. The waters from heaven He did divide. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the second day. Day three. Great clapping. On the third day, God created land with trees. They all bore fruits while the plants bore seeds. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the third day. Day four. On the fourth day, God created the sun and a moon with stars when the night would come. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the fourth day. On the fifth day, God created fish in the sea and birds to fly high above the trees. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the fifth day. On the sixth day, God had the most to do. He created man and the animals too. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the sixth day. On the seventh day, God chose to rest. He made the day holy and the earth He blessed. All this was done with no delay, and that's what happened on the seventh day. So if you ever wondered how it all began, what came before earth, what came before man, this is a tale of God's mighty glory. This is creation story. This is creation story. This is creation story. So, on the sixth day, God created Adam and Eve, right? That's right. Yeah, first he created Adam, and then he created Eve. Whoa. Can you imagine what would have happened if God didn't create Eve? I mean, I mean, imagine if God created Adam, but then decided to stop and rest. You Whoa. know, Adam would have been a very lonely person. Have you ever thought about that? Oh, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it now, though. I mean, he, he, would, he would walk the earth year after year, trudging into the darkness of the night, and he wouldn't have a friend by his side. No, that sounds terrible. I'd never thought about that. We are so lucky that we've got friends. I mean, how would you feel without your friends around you? Mm. Who would you talk to? <laughs> Who would you eat your chocolate with? <laughs> Who would you share the good times with? And bad times. Everybody needs friends. <laughs> Friends, everybody needs friends Friends on which we depend upon The hard times they can be lent upon Then, there's some we don't really know They may be good, may be bad They may be happy or sad So extend the hand of friendship and find How good it feels to be kind How good it feels to be friends with Someone new Friendship's good for them too It's what God wants us to do Let's make a friend Friends Everybody needs friends Friends that love you for who you are You don't have to be a superstar Then Some we don't really know They may seem different to you but maybe they'll be your friend too So extend the hand of friendship and find How good it feels to be kind How good it feels to be friends with someone new Friendship's good for them too It's what God wants us to do Let's make a friend Let's make a friend Let's make a friend Let's make a friend oh, Give yourselves a clap now So many, many years after God created Adam and Eve There were so many people on earth That's right, but not all of these people were behaving as friends would There was a lot of fighting, 
Not a lot of handshaking and smiling going on. And God wasn't very happy about that, right? No, he wasn't. Mm. So God sent a great flood to all of the lands, but he chose one very special person to build a big boat and save two of every animal on the planet, including his own family. Who did God speak to and ask to build the ark? Does anybody know? Noah! Noah, that's right. That's right, it was Noah. Noah built the ark to preserve life for the future after all the bad behavior was gone. Wow. Imagine having to build that big, massive ark. Get your hammers out, everybody. Can everyone get your hammers out? Why don't we try and help Noah build the ark just like this? Bang, bang, bang with the hammer. Oh, that is very nice. You know what? I think it makes a bit of a clanging noise as mm. well. What do you reckon? Yeah. Clang, clang, clang. Let's work together. Bang, 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 bang with the, the hammer. hammer. Clang, clang, clang. Let's, Let's work, work together. together. We'll work through night and day to help him build the ark. All right, everybody. Get your hammers ready. Let's help Noah build the ark. Nice muscles. With the hammer, clang, 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 let's work together. Get your hammers out, the time to play. We're gonna help Noah build the ark today. Get some nails and some timber too. We might even need to use some glue. We're gonna work through night and day to help build the ark. everybody you did they did a great job to help build the ark you know Noah had a lot of faith in God firstly faith that he was going to be able to build this ark in the way that God had asked him to and secondly that his life would be saved from the flood and that new life would come from the lives that Noah had saved you know Daniel had the same kind of faith when he was thrown into the lion's den the lion's den Oh, that sounds like an adventure I don't want to go on, Jim. I know, right? I mean, how would you like to face the big, scary lion today? Today? Yeah. Today? Today? Yeah, today. Today? <laughs> you mean there's a lion here right now? In the sh Look around. Can anyone see a lion? Is there a lion here somewhere? I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit worried, actually. Oh! <laughs> That's not a lion, Jim. <laughs> Well, that's just a little itty bitty kitty cat. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> hey, just like how Daniel placed his faith in God, we can travel to a time where David faced a massive problem with God's help. His massive problem went away. Really? Well, God can help your problems go away? Absolutely. I mean, God does wondrous work through us all. We've all been given skills and talents to use. David was highly skilled at using his sling. He didn't need the king's armor to go into battle against Goliath. 
Goliath? Wasn't he a giant? Yeah. Oh, another scary adventure. You know, I'm starting to think that traveling is a lot less scary than reading. Oh, come on. There's no need to be afraid. With God on your side to open up your eyes, you can be brave, brave, brave. Okay. Okay, let's take on the giant Goliath, everybody. Can everyone get your slings out? Everyone, that's good. Everyone, get your slings out and, and let's swing, swing, swing our slings just like David did. Now, I'm hearing some very nice sling sound effects in there. Can I hear those again? Look at that. You've all got the Turbo 3000 slings. They're very classy. Mm, very cool. Now, remember, when you swing, 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 you don't need to be afraid. With God on your side to open up your eyes, you can be brave, brave, brave. So come on, now that we've got our slings, let's go into battle against Goliath. Goliath was a man who was very tall. David was a boy who was but small. Goliath wore armour and fought with a sword. David's armour was his faith in the Lord. One stone slung just by David's feet. Knocked the giant down, put him in his place. When the army saw what David had done, they turned on their heels and began to run. Swing, 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 you don't have to be afraid With God on your side to open up your eyes You can be brave, brave, brave Swing, 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 you don't have to be afraid With God on your side to open up your eyes You can be brave, brave, brave Goliath was a man who was very strong David was a boy who knew Right Ready, wrong. muscles? Goliath bullied people using his size. David used his faith, and that choice was wise. Swing, swing, swing. You don't have to be afraid. Put God on your side to open up your eyes. You can be brave, brave, brave. That's it. Swing, swing, swing. You don't have to be afraid. Put God on your side to open up your eyes. You can be brave, brave. One stone slung by David's faith Knocked the giant down, put him in his place When the army saw what David had done They turned on their heels and began to run Swing, swing, swing You don't have to be afraid With God on your side to open up your eyes You can be brave Sing along now Here we go Swing, swing, swing You don't have to be afraid God on your side to open up your eyes You can be brave, brave, brave With God on your side to open up your eyes You can be brave, brave, brave Oh, give yourselves a round of applause Yeah, good on you guys, you knocked the giant down Now, God gives us gifts to use to help us find our way, right? That's right Everything we need to get through life God has already given us All we will learn as we go along but how do we know God's really there? I, I mean, we, we can't see him, can we? No, we can't see him, but we can see his great work all around us. I don't really understand. I mean, how do we know something's there if we can't see it? And why should we trust in God's word if we can't see him? Hmm, let me try and explain. There was once a man named Jonah who was asked by God to preach repentance to a group of people known as the Ninevites. Jonah. Yes. Uh, wasn't there a whale involved in this story? Correct, yes. Very so <clears throat> perhaps one could say that Jonah had a whale of a time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Luke. That was incredible. I right. Thought... Yeah, real okay. good. All right. Sorry. Okay, go, sorry. Yeah. Go on. Tell us more. Okay, I'm, here we go. No, no more jokes. Well, <laughs> Jonah refused to do as God had asked him. And as he tried to escape on a ship, God sent a massive storm and Jonah was thrown overboard. Sorry, and, and the rest they say is his story, his history. His story, his history, history, his story. That's no punny. One. You're punny. Oh. Good job. <laughs> thrown overboard in the deep blue sea, waving my arms so I can be seen. A whale showed up right by my side. He looked in my eyes and opened wide With a splash and a spray and a giant grin The whale opened up and let me in I used his tongue as a giant slide That's how it all began when I went for an ocean ride It's going fast, very nice It's dark inside like a scary Ugh. 
hey I'm cold and I'm wet but I'm glad I'm safe safe inside from the scary storm I see it through his mouth when he yawns with a splash and a spray and a giant grin the whale open up and let me in I used his tongue as a giant Let's sing it again now, everyone. With a splash and a spray and a giant grin, the whale opened up and let me in. I used his tongue as a giant slide. That's how it all began when I went for an ocean. That's how it all began when I went for an ocean. That's how it all began when I went for an ocean. Wow! There really are some amazing stories in the Bible. And some incredible people as well. Jem, around Christmas time, we think about two very special people that travelled from Nazareth to Bethlehem and gave birth to a very special baby boy in a manger. Yes, that's right. A man and his wife who couldn't find room at the inn, so they spent the night in a stable. Does anyone know who we're talking about? Mary and Joseph. Right, Mary and Joseph. Here's one for you. How did Mary and Joseph get from Nazareth to Bethlehem? What animal did Mary ride on? Donkey! Exactly. Now, when we do get closer to Christmas and we enter the time of Advent, it is a time for thinking about new life and the hope that is represented by the birth of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. Christmas is a time for thinking about all the prezzies we get on Christmas <laughs> Day. Look, that is not <laughs> what Christmas is about. I mean, I know that it's really nice when you get presents from your family on Christmas Day, but it's actually way better to give to others at Christmas time. Hmm. I guess you're right. I mean, if it wasn't for God's gift of his only son, Jesus, then we wouldn't have any hope of entering the kingdom of heaven and that's a huge gift to receive. That's right. Christmas is a celebration of the joy and hope that is experienced through the birth of Jesus. All right. Well, why don't we go to Bethlehem? Why don't we see what it was like to travel the long road Mary and Joseph traveled? Nice clapping. I'm leaving Galilee, so Mary, come with me. Yes, we're going back again to the town of Bethlehem. It may take very long, but it's where my family's from. Yes, we're going back again to the town of Bethlehem. Let's jump on our donkey and travel far to the place King David is from. And I hope our dog is strong Cause the trip is very long To walk to Bethlehem Okay, let's get some arms going. Are you ready? We're gonna go this Many way. miles down Very nice. As we walk to my town Yes, we're almost back again In the town Beautiful. of Bethlehem Oh, Mary, you and me We've made it, can't you see? Yes, we're finally back again in the town of Bethlehem. Let's jump on our donkey and travel far to the place King David is from. And thank God our donkey's strong, cause the trip was very long to walk. a stable we can use we can finally rest again in the town of Bethlehem let's jump on our donkey and travel far to the place King David is grown and thank God our donkey's strong cause the trip was very long but we made it yeah we made 
yourselves a round of applause. We Thank made you for it. Good job, guys. <laughs> it took a while, but we made it to Bethlehem. I gotta say, Mary and Joseph sure had to go through a lot to give birth to their baby boy. It was quite a miraculous journey, I'd say. And I think, as we all know, Jesus performed real miracles. He healed the sick. He let the blind see. He even brought the dead back to life. Yeah, miracles that convinced his disciples he truly was the Son of God, sent to earth at Christmas night to guide us through our faith. And it wasn't just his birth that was significant. It was what he did and how he did it that had an impact on people. Hmm, so let's take a look at how he met his first disciples. Oh, good idea. I love this story. Jesus was walking through Galilee. He saw some men fishing out at sea. The men had been working all through the night, but caught no fish by morning light. The boat came to shore and Jesus asked their names. Brothers Peter, Andrew, brothers John and James. Jesus said, we'll sail back out to sea. Let's see if you catch Are you ready for this? me. And he said, day time, night time, rain and sunshine. You got that? Leave your things and follow me. Talk to one man of thousands, cross rivers and mountains. Leave your things and follow me. No more okay, fishing from the sea. And look. And hi. Hi. And look. Peter said to Jesus, we've got nothing yet. But you will sell out and let down our nets. Sailed out with the fishermen, but they thought they had no luck again. Are you ready to know this one? And daytime? he said, daytime, nighttime, rain and sunshine. Leave your things and follow me. Talk to one man of thousands, cross rivers and mountains. Leave your things and follow me. No more fishing from the sea. Let's hit the water to the men's surprise oh. They filled up with fish before their very eyes We must become your disciples, said the fishermen And Jesus said, you're not the Are you ready for daytime? And he said, daytime, nighttime, rain and sunshine Leave your things and follow me Talk to one man of thousands, cross rivers and mountains Leave your things and follow me Daytime, nighttime, rain and sunshine Leave your things and follow me Talk to one man of thousands Cross rivers and mountains Leave your things and follow me No more fish you go to see No more fish you go to see Leave your things and follow me No more fish you go to see Fishing from the sea. No more fishing from the sea. No more fishing from the sea. All right. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. You know, Jesus showed his love for us in a variety of ways, not just by performing miracles. Jesus also spread God's word through the stories that he told. Those stories are known as parables. Well, one of my favorite parables is the story of the Good Samaritan, which is about a man who helped a stranger lying by the side of the road, someone who had been bashed and robbed. We can all be Good Samaritans when others are in need. You know, we should never be afraid to be the one to help. Whoa, Jim. man was robbed by evil guys He was beaten and left to die The priest saw the man ahead Cross the road to get away instead No one heard the poor man's cry He was left to die Someone else heard the poor man's cry It was a local man passing by Saw the man on the ground Looked away and turned around Who would help the man that's hurt and lying in the dirt? The Good Samaritan was afraid The Good Samaritan 
to realize that stories from the Bible, well, they're not just cool stories, but they also help us understand how we can live a life to help other people as well as ourselves. Yeah, you know, speaking of helping others, and you guys should have a think about this, this as well. Mm. If you could have one wish, anything in the world, what would you wish for, Luke? Just one? Just one, I'm sorry. Probably can't a million. Wish for a mil- no, can't wish for a million wishes, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ooh, just one. Right. You can do it. Brand new Xbox. Brand new Xbox. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah? Yeah, That'd I think so. Wish? Brand okay. new Xbox. What about you, Jim? What would you wish for? Hmm, okay. If I could have one wish in the world, chocolate is tempting. Yeah, chocolate, I'm pretty tempted by that one. But I'm going to have to go with all the sick people in the world to be healthy. Yeah. That's wow. what I wish for. What? That's, a, that's a pretty cool wish. Hey, that's, that's kind of like a prayer, right? Yeah. Like... You're wishing for something, but it's not for yourself. Like, like you're asking God to grant your wish that all the sick people in the world would be healthy. Yeah, I suppose prayers are like wishes, except when you're praying for others and not just for yourself, God listens. The reason why we don't need to pray or wish for ourselves is because God's already given us everything we need. Oh, I don't really understand, Jim. I mean, I, I don't already have that new Xbox, but I really would still like it. <laughs> no, but that's not what I mean. I mean, when you look at what you really need in life, you need friendship, love, support, and an ability to get through life using your skills and talent. Oh, I, I guess you're right. I mean, I love music and I really love my family. To be honest, there's not really much more I need to be happy in. I have a lot to be thankful for. and oh, I guess that I can use my gifts and, and make other people happy through music. I know a great song about that from the Bible. <laughs> Would you like to hear it? A king gave three servants a coin one day and said, Let's see what you earn while I'm away. Then one day, the king finally returned and called for his servants to see what they earned. The first servant said, From the coin you gave me, I've earned ten more, as you can see. The king said, Well done, your profit is very large, so 
ten cities of mine, you will now be in charge. The second servant earned five coins from the one, and the king was pleased with what he had done. He said, well, what you have made is fine, so I will now leave you in charge of five cities of mine. Oh, don't be so shy, just give it a try, give it all you got. The third servant was weak and very afraid He had hidden the coin while the king was away He said, Sir, I was afraid and scared, it's true I did nothing with my coin so I could give it to you The king was mad and without any pity He said, well I won't leave you in charge of a single city I will take the coin from the weakest of the men and give it to the servant who made me ten. Don't be so shy, just give it a try, give it all you got. God gives ability to you and me, so don't be scared to try. Don't be so shy, just give it a try, give it all you got. To try. The others who saw didn't think it was fair, but the king he knew best and he didn't care. I will give those who try all that they need, but those who do nothing will get nothing from me. Don't be so shy, just give it a try, give it all you got. Don't be so shy, just give it a try, give it all you've got. God gives ability to you and me, so don't be scared to try. Don't be so shy, won't you just give it a try? Don't be so shy, won't you just give it a try? We're gonna give it Yeah, I'm really understanding now that the stories from the Bible, well, they're not just great stories about other people and what they did, but they're also stories about us and how we can live a life that God wants us to through Him and His Word. Yeah, and every day we can look around and be thankful for all the amazing things that God has given us. Friendship, family, peace, love, and... Chocolate? Exactly. <laughs> But of course, also, Jesus, the baby born in the manger on Christmas Day. And through our faith in Jesus, we can come to know God and his love for us. So come on, everybody. Let's sing it two by two. You know the song. Let's get some clapping. Very nice. You guys are clapping experts now. Very good. Let's speak to one another with spiritual songs. Sing and make music. All day long, for oh God, it's time we start to feel in our hearts and let's sing, sing, sing. Let's sing together these Bible stories that teach us all about God's glory. Giving thanks to everything, we song the sound and hymns, so let's sing, sing, sing. Here we go. We'll sing it two by two.
Thanks for coming. See you next time. Bye. Bye.